So friends, let us start with our discussion. So I have shared the screen. Is it visible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, fine. So we have seen that uh, in case of modern. Uh, modern drives using the control converters or the power electronics. So, in modern uh, DC drives, they are containing this soft start. Along with this soft start, one more facility is added in that. That is the field failure protection. What do you mean by field failure protection? And what, what is the necessity of it? Is if in the previous equation we have seen that the speed is directly proportional to VA, that is speed omega is equal to VA minus IARA divided by KA into phi and phi is proportional to IF. So KA into IF. That means speed is directly proportional to uh, VA and it is inversely proportional to IF, that is field current. Now, if field current or field circuit fails, that means there will be an open circuit. So, that means field current value IF will become equal to zero. As IF is becoming zero, the speed is inversely proportional to IF. So, if IF is going to zero value, then what will be speed? Speed will become infinite. So, as speed is becoming infinite, it may damage mechanically the motor. So, that's why in order to avoid that field failure technique is, uh, means field failure uh, facility is provided along with this uh, modern control converters. So, what is that? A very simple circuit is there in which a relay is used. And that coil of relay, it is placed in the field circuit so that whenever field current is flowing, that is flowing through that coil of the relay. So that is magnetized and it is energized and the relay is connected that NC and NO contacts, they are connected in the armature circuitry. So whenever field current breaks at that time, the uh, relay coil, the current flowing through that relay coil will reduce to zero and the relay will change its contact. Means it will disconnect the armature from the supply. So that your uh, field failure, means uh, field failure will be taken care. And uh, this is the, these are the points which uh, I was interested to uh, discuss with you. For theoretical. Now, for practical purpose, this is the procedure, and the procedure is very simple. You have to connect the circuit as shown in figure, so that figure is shown to you, and you have to make the connections as per that, and you have to ensure that the field rheostat is at its minimum position, and armature rheostat is at its maximum position. Why? Because Armature rheostat at its maximum position so that armature current should be minimum and the field rheostat is at minimum position so that field current is at its maximum position means field current should be maximum and armature current should be minimum because speed is directly proportional to armature current and speed is inversely proportional to field current. Then switch on the supply vary the voltage across armature using armature rheostat and keep the field current constant at a constant value. Note down the readings of armature voltage and speed. So this is half part of experiment is over. Then vary the current through field winding using field rheostat and keep the armature voltage to a constant value. So we are performing now second experiment, second part of that, that is field weakening method. So we have kept field uh, armature voltage to a constant value and we have started reducing the field current. 
and then note down the readings of field current and speed and plot the graph of armature voltage versus speed and armature uh, sorry speed versus field current so these two graphs you have to plot so you will get these two observation tables one is field current in amperes so that reading and speed in rpm this is one part which is field weakening method and uh, this is the armature control voltage method the armature voltage control method in which field current you have to keep constant at a particular value and vary the voltage and you will get a variable speed note down the readings and plot the graph okay so for implementation on virtual lab i have shown you uh, given you two links uh, this is for field control method or flux control method and this is for armature voltage control method this one link is from iit bombay and this is also from iit bombay so these two links for these two practicals are provided for from iit bombay uh, virtual lab and these two links i have provided it for you from iit roorkee so you can click on either of these and you can start performing the practical so for uh, performing the practical on visual lab if you will go on the particular experiment you will find uh, there are steps for performing the practical on virtual lab you will find this seven uh, seven atoms or uh, which you can click one is aim theory pre test procedure simulation post test and references and one more link is there for feedback so first aim if you will click on this you will find what is the aim of the experiment theory related theory you can get then pre test what is your prior knowledge that they want to test so you can appear for pre test you can test your own knowledge before performing the experiment then from procedure you can read the procedure what is the procedure to perform the practical what are the connections circuit connections uh, are there you have to you can go through that and then you can go for simulation in which you can follow the procedure which is mentioned in that procedure and you can simulate the result and you can find the uh, that truth table uh, sorry that uh, observation table you can fill you can prepare a graph the entire thing is ready made you can plot the graph even on that and then you can give post test so after performing the practical what knowledge updations you did so that is post test and the references you can get so when you are going in uh, that uh, procedure uh, sorry uh, that uh, simulation setup you will find such setup in that practical you will find this uh, meters this rheostat this is the dc motor this is the front view and this some um, your um, mcb and all for applying the supply then uh, in procedure part you can get the connection diagram so this type of connection diagram is given to you that connection diagram you make a note of this for armature voltage control and same if you go for field control or uh, flux control you will get circuit diagram for this connection diagram you can refer this connection diagram you can perform the practical so i have performed it for you and uh, on this iit roorkee uh, virtual lab i have made these connections and i have noted these readings of voltage and speed and then plotted the graph so this is the entire practical for the uh, half part that is one Uh, armature control and another for field control now let us see how to perform that practical so we'll i'll share another screen i'll stop sharing this screen and i'll share uh, the screen which is of the lab so we'll directly move to that I have shared another screen. Is it visible to you now?
स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ एसी मोटर बाय आर्मेचर रेजिस्टेंस कंट्रोल इज इट विजिबल टू यू यस अभी सर इज इट विजिबल यस एनीबडी yes sir okay then uh, i'll explain how to perform this so aim is there you can click on this uh, left hand side that menu is are there so aim is there so i have clicked on aim so it is available theory you can click on that theory so that theory will be available to you then pre test you can go for pre test then procedure is there you can go for procedure in procedure this connection diagram is there and what procedure you have to follow it is mentioned you can go through this procedure and then you can go for simulation so if you will go for simulation you will find this simulation click here to go to the simulation page so i go to simulation page whenever i go to simulation page this entire front panel will be available so on this front panel mcd is there this three point starter is there mcd is to turn on the supply then the starter is there voltmeter ammeter is there speedometer is there these rheostats are there to vary the resistances one is for field resistance another is for armature resistance then this is the motor dc motor dc shunt motor and its rotor that is the front view uh, so that you can feel whether the motor is rotating or not and then here observation table is there to create the graph so serial number voltage and speed and here you can create the graph and ultimately you can take print of the entire connection diagram okay so we will start making connection so i hope you have remembered the connection and if not you can go to this uh, instruction you can click on this instruction so you will find the procedure the following procedure is to be followed for simulation make the proper connection as per instruction first of all connect the positive terminal of mcb to the negative terminal of voltmeter and this so you can go through this procedure and you can make the connections so i am having the diagram connection diagram with me so i will make the connections so first of all i will take this negative of mcb and i will connect it to this l then this positive of mcb i will connect to one terminal terminal of voltmeter then i'll take it again i'll connect it to one of the armature and one of the field winders so these i have connected then i want to connect this uh, field resistance rheostat so that i connect it in this field winding series with field winding another terminal i want an ammeter in series with this so that i can measure the current flowing through this so i have connected it then i will connect this field uh, sorry armature rheostat so armature rheostat i will connect it to one of this terminal then another terminal i will connect it to the supply voltage which i will get it from this point then i want to connect a voltmeter for this so i will connect a voltmeter here and then i want one this field to armature ammeter so i have connected it now whether the connection is complete or not so that 
I can check. So I'll go on this second green button. Check. I'll apply check. So wrong connection is mentioned. That means I have missed something. Okay. So I have purposely missed something. So now I'll make the connections. Proper connections.
we have made this connections for field control i have observed that after checking it is giving me that correct connection proceed to take readings then i'll click on okay so check this connections now what is the method i first of all i have to keep some armature voltage and then i have to reduce this value of field current okay okay so uh i am not turn this on so i will turn it on mcb i will turn on first after checking the connections i have to turn on this mcb once mcb is turned on i will get some readings on this meters so i have got the readings of volt meter and i will change this one so you will find that the motor is rotating and the speed is 2500 speedometer is reading this something ammeter is reading and voltmeter is reading so what is that reading that whatever reading is there you can add it in a table so you click here on add to table so automatically here the table will be generated current in ampere is written as 0.1 and speed is 2500 so 0.1 ampere is the current and speedometer is showing 2500 so these readings are noted then i will reduce uh, sorry increase the field current so i have increased field current so this is second reading i have got then i will add it to table so current value is 0.2 ampere and speed is 2340 you can see the reading of uh, speedometer it is 2340 then i increase again further this rheostat value field resistance so if you will increase the value of this field it is third reading okay then the value of current meter is showing speedometer is showing 2100 i'll add it to table and this procedure i'll repeat at least for six more readings so that i'll be able to plot the graph so minimum 6 readings are required for uh, plotting the graph so i'll take another reading fifth reading add it to table then sixth reading add it to table okay and add it to table if you want further reading you can take seventh reading seventh reading is there i'll add it to table i'll take one more reading let us say and i'll add it to table so current value now you can see the table you can see the table observation table armature uh, sorry field current is increasing from 0.1 0.2 0.3 to 0.8 and speed is reducing from 2500 to 1300 so whenever the field current was 0.8 ampere at that time the motor was rotating with 1400 rpm and as i am st i have started weakening the field current that means i have started reducing the field current then the value of speed has started increasing and it has got it has gone to 2500 then after observation table uh, above this you can see plot graph so i press this so graph will be plotted of speed and current so you can find the current value it is 0.1 so 
so speed is 2500 as current value is 0.2 speed is 2340 and so on so forth and the graph is plotted then you can go on this print so that the entire screen means circuit diagram and your graph will be available on this you can save it as a pdf or uh, so so you can save it to a particular location so that the entire circuit diagram connections observation table and this graph will be available to you so i hope you understood the practical how to perform it and the same practical i have already performed for you and that i'll change the screen so that is already there on this so you can find that this so this is for field current uh, sorry this is for field current weakening method readings graph and this okay and this is for the another that is armature voltage so i think you can perform this experiment on your own take the print out of this graph and then you have to submit it okay and if possible later on will perform it in the actual in the laboratory of our institute so i hope you understood the things i'll stop recording first and then we'll discuss